금요일인가 네가 만나자 했던 날이 그 시간이 흐른 날 너와 나 Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to take some time right now to plan out the routines and habits that I want to set for the new school year. I just feel like now's a good time to do it because I just know once the school year starts, I'm going to feel so overwhelmed. I'm just going to take some time right now to figure out the life that I want to live and the routines that I want to have. So yeah, I'm going to do some planning right now. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> So if I'm being honest with all of you, I'm a little bit anxious starting the new school year because I've been so far removed from society for like the last two years since COVID happened. Because of that and the fact that I've had a pretty unproductive and lazy summer, I'm going to follow some tips that I learned from a Huberman Lab podcast about setting, creating, and maintaining new habits and routines. This summer break, I haven't been all that productive, mainly because I didn't have any summer classes or work or anything like that. I literally had no routines. I would sleep at like 3 to 4 a.m. and then wake up at 12 p.m. or maybe even later than that. And then I would spend the rest of the day rotting away in my bed watching YouTube or Netflix. You know, that might sound a little bit familiar to some of you. <laughs> Anyways, the first step that I'm taking to fix all my bad habits is to listen to the recommendation of picking out six new habits that you want to try and form and then try to do them for about 21 days. Picking out just six habits is a really decent number because, well, let's face it, most of us probably want to develop like 15 new habits all at once, but you know, as humans, we have to stay pretty humble and make sure that we don't overwhelm ourselves right away. So I think six new habits or maybe even less is a really good starter pack. <laughs> So right now I'm gonna do some coding. I'm trying to learn C Sharp right now, which is a programming language. This is one of the habits that I really wanted to set and solidify before the school year starts because I am going to start a new program in the fall, which is computer science. Obviously computer science, you have to do some coding. So yeah, I'm gonna watch my YouTube tutorials now. Favorite movies. When it comes to picking out the habits that I want to form, I first write down a very general and broad idea. So for example, like I want to wake up early and then I later specify it to a more specific point. If I say I'm going to wake up early, I'm also going to write down the when or the how. So with this example, it's going to be like, I'm going to wake up early by gradually going from waking up at 8 a.m. to 6 a.m. I think it's better to be detailed about the habits that you want to form, such as writing down when or how you want to implement a new habit. It so that you can have a clear idea of what you want. We can actually print out movies. actually recommended to only aim to complete about four to six of the habits you want to form. And I think that's a good thing because most of us probably won't have enough motivation and consistency to keep up with doing six new things every single day. But lowering the bar to doing at least just four of the six habits is a pretty manageable thing to do. And if you're wondering what's the point of having six habits if you're not going to do all of them, well, the point is to keep the process light and manageable so that you can keep doing new habits in the long term. As time goes on, our motivation and consistency have the potential to fade and we won't be able to keep doing the same new things every day. So as long as you're hitting some of the habits that you want to form, then you're going to be making more progress as opposed to doing all six at once and then beating yourself up about missing one of the habits that you were supposed to do. Because at that point, you might not even be able to get back on track. That was hot.
I'm also not going to pressure myself about doing the same habit at the same time in the same place every day because I have a tendency to make spontaneous plans and those plans can throw me off course. So after deciding which six habits I want to form, I'm gonna divide these up into two parts of the day. There's the first half of the day and it's generally around the first zero to eight hours after waking up. And then there's the second half, which is the nine to 15 hours after waking up. Dividing the day into two parts is good because I can spread out my new habits throughout the day. Habits that require more brain work like learning or doing coding or doing math, those things are stuff that I'll aim to do during the first half of the day. And then lighter habits I'll do during the second half. So for example, things like meditating or yoga. During the first eight hours we're awake, we can better execute habits that need more energy and focus. In the second half of the day, so the nine to 15 hours after being awake, it's usually the afternoon and I'm pretty sure most of us know that feeling where you're really tired and your brain is slowly starting to shut down that is the perfect time to do smaller habits that require little to no logic or thinking so for me meditating is going to be a really great thing to do at this time because i can't even be bothered to do much at this point in the day the afternoon is going to be like a no thoughts head empty time of the day for me <laughs> I'm going to link the article I read about this stuff in the description if you want more information. Also, not sponsored or anything. <laughs> all in all, what I'm going to do to prepare for the new school year is pick six new habits that I want to form. Second, I'm going to divide them into two parts of the day. I'm going to do logic-based or more difficult habits during the first half of the day. And then I'm going to designate lighter, easier habits towards the second half of the day. And lastly, I'm going to aim to do at least four of of the six habits that I've chosen each day. Hopefully if I stick to it, I can solidify my habits and routines before the school year starts. And if you want to try it too, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and good luck to those of you going back to school.